Hey, hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Teenology Podcast, where teens make sense of the world that they are about to change. I am the host, Aiden Middleton. The hostess with the mostest. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like you to rephrase that. The host with the most? Yes. All right. Here we go. That's, that's better. <laughs> and I am here with my dad, the co-host with the least. Ah, got him. The least? That's it? Just the yep. co-host with the least. <laughs> yeah. All right. so good there. Well, I think we should move on now. <laughs> what are we talking about today, Aiden? Today's episode is about your summer vacation and how to not waste it. You know what? There's 104 days of summer vacation. And school comes along just to end it. And the annual problem with our generation is finding a good way to spend it. And that's what we're going to be talking about. But <laughs> yeah. first, we have to do our Gen Z Word of the Episode. So here Heck we go. yeah. Get ready. All right, Aiden, our word for this episode is mm-hmm. the name of a man, oh. a man named Stan. Oh my gosh, did, did you just come up with that? Yes, I did. How does Stan have any relevance to our podcast Because Stan is the life in general? Stan is the Gen Z word. Stan, you yeah. said it was a man's name. Yeah, but it's also a word. So tell me, enlighten <laughs> me, Aiden. <laughs> you just had, you're kind of a Stan about... A certain band. <laughs> I'm like I'm like Dr. <laughs> Seuss right now. <laughs> Please stop. And you were a stan of a certain band. So tell me, what does stan mean? Well, I think what you're trying to say is that I'm a stalker fan. Well, I hope that you're not a stalker, because that'd be <laughs> kind of weird if you were uh, a stalker. I don't know. Um, well, so this band that we're talking about is 21 Pilots. 21 Pilots. They yes. just came out with a new album last Friday. They, they didn't. I highly recommend for all of you people to go listen to it because it is so good. So we're doing music recommendations now on the podcast? Yes. Yeah, so any, anyway, but you I, know you I, can't I might be a little bit of a stalker because like, well, well one, I'm a huge fan. And I, I literally, my phone background is 21 Pilots. Um, my Discord name is Tyler Joseph. And so is my profile picture. Is and he is face. one of the members and of the band. And he is the lead singer of the yep. band. And, um, I mean, I know literally, I know everything about their lives. I know their kids' names. I know their wives' names. I mean. Okay, I'm rethinking this. Maybe you are a stalker <laughs> now. I mean, I. I might need to pray for you after this <laughs> is over. I know literally everything about them. I know their backstory. I know all of their, their lore. I mean, I listen to their music. I was in their top. 0.02% of people to listen to them on Spotify last year. We know what I'm going to do. So out of okay, so out I'm of I'm going to get the, you a t-shirt that says that. Out of the <laughs> out of the millions upon millions of people that listen to them, I was in the top 0.02 percentile of people who listen to their well, music. If Tyler Joseph or what's the other guy's name again? Josh Dunn. Josh Dunn, if they ever listen to this podcast, and hopefully they'll reach out to us and give us some backstage <laughs> passes or something like yes, that. Yes, that would be amazing. We'll go watch them. So yes, I, I set am, a car on fire. <laughs> I think I, I think I uh, am in the stand category. For You're them. in the stand. Okay. Yeah. Well, as long as you don't get a restraining order filed against you by those guys, <laughs> I guess that's okay. All right. Well, anyways, as much as I would love to just keep going on about my two favorite people in this world who I'm not even related to. Mom and dad? No, I said I'm not even related to. Oh, that's sad. Um, <laughs> we are going to be talking about summer vacation. All right, let's do it. All right, Mr. Co-host with the least. How or what are some ways that we can not waste our summer vacation? Yeah, well, I think we all need to channel our inner Phineas and Ferb, and we need to make the most of our summer vacation. Because I remember when I was a kid, it is so easy to just sit around and not do anything, right? Yeah, it is. I agree. So I think what we want to challenge everybody with as we go into summer is to say, hey, let's make the most of our summer. So 
do learn a skill. Yeah, I remember years ago when your middle brother, Eli, and he remember when fidget spinners were super popular a few years ago. Yeah, they. What what is a fidget spinner? Oh, whatever you know, what a fidget spinner is <laughs> a little thing you spin. <laughs> yes, right? I'm joking. And Eli wanted one really, really bad, and he was just would not be quiet about it. It was a fidget spinner. I don't. I don't even understand that. Why? Why? It's a fidget spinner. I don't know. But it was the thing, and everybody wanted one, and he wanted one really bad. So I told him, all right, I will get you one, but you have to learn how to spin a basketball on your finger first. And so you know what he did? He learned how to do it, and then I went and bought him a fidget spinner for two bucks, and guess what he still does? Is he spins a basketball on his finger, but he doesn't really play with fidget spinners anymore. <laughs> yeah. So the point is, it's saying, hey, let's use the time that we have and make the most of our summer. Learn a new skill. You're not going to get this time back as a kid, yes. right? And so go make some money, get a job, read a book that's not school. I know that's like a, a shocking thing to say to a teenager in the summer, <laughs> but read a book about something you're interested in that doesn't have to do with school. Do something dangerous, get into trouble. Yeah, it's a Sandlot lingo we're doing now. It don't get into trouble. <laughs> All right. Anyways, back on track, Dad. Sorry, co-host with the least. Um, what does the Bible have to say about laziness or not doing anything? Well, the Bible actually has a lot to say. Specifically, uh-uh. the ver- the book of Proverbs has many scriptures about laziness. But one I will read, and this is the most appropriate teenager verse of all time. It says, Love not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes, and you will have plenty of bread. So what's that saying? Is it saying don't Wait, sleep? Wait, it actually says that. Yes. Like, don't sleep your whole summer away. I remember when I was a kid, man, I could sleep till 1 o'clock, even 2 every once in a while with the best of them. And uh, <laughs> I don't do that anymore. <laughs> what? Yeah, I could sleep a long time. I actually slept better than any of you boys. I could sleep longer than any of you boys. I could outsleep you when I was a teenager. I don't know. Eli woke up at like one thirty in the afternoon the other day. Yeah, well, he's, you know, he's a growing boy. He's catching up with you. You know, this is just a crazy fact for our podcast listeners, but my 13-year-old son, Aiden's younger brother, in six weeks went from a size 10 and a half shoe to a size 12 shoe. That's and, disgusting. And I don't want to think about a growing foot. That's <laughs> I'm sorry for everybody listening. Now you have to imagine that's a crazy. gross middle Yo, schooler's that's crazy. A gross middle schooler's I couldn't be- foot. I couldn't growing. believe it. Two inches in six weeks, that's just nasty. All right. Well, anyways, despite the fact that that may be gross to some of our listeners. All of our listeners. All of our listeners. Including me. (laughs) All of our listeners. The point is, is summer's here, so don't be lazy. Don't don't literally sleep it away. Go do some. Start a business. That'd be fun. Start a business. Learn a skill. Get a hobby, read your Bible, spend some extra time with God, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. But the point is, is just don't sit around. I mean, as much as the kids love the Fortnites and the oh, YouTube please, please and the stop. internets. The Fortnites, <laughs> the YouTubes, and the, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm As ashamed. much as the kids love that I'm stuff. I'm ashamed to call you my co-host with the least. <laughs> well, regardless, <laughs> regardless what we're, what we're saying, the, the point is this. The point is, time is the most valuable asset you have. It's more important than your money. It's more important than anything you're going to own is what you do with your time. Yeah. And so God will hold us accountable for how do we spend our time. Were we good with time management or do we have poor time management skills? So that's why I want to challenge all of our teenage listeners listening to the podcast is saying, how are you using your time? Think about, you got a chance right now as summer's kicking off to sit down, write down two or three goals. I want to get better at a sport. I want to read something. I want to start a business. I want to make some money. I want to read this. I want to study a book of the Bible. I want to do something like, I want to go pray with some friends. I want to 
you know, do something with my check a few things off the bucket list or something like that. Yeah, start a Bible study. Yeah, there you go. Start a Bible study. So there's lots of different things that you can do. Our point is is saying, listen, just spend some time praying, thinking about it, be creative, dream about it a little bit, give yourself a little bit of headspace, and just do something. Yeah. Don't waste your summer. Be yeah. like Phineas, you gotta channel your inner Phineas and Ferb. Man, those two kids, they didn't play no video games. Actually they, they did. They did actually in one or two episodes and they Actually like multiple episodes. Multiple episodes. Well, anyways, they built amazing stuff and they foiled Doctor Doofenshmirtz's evil plans so Don't many times. Even compare us to to made up cartoon characters. But who I, can that is do like the possible things. You know, it's like the greatest cartoon ever in my opinion. <laughs> It's my favorite cartoon of all time. <laughs> because you watch cartoons so much, Dad. Don't I know. You? I I don't actually. But when I when you guys were little, that was the one that I actually really thoroughly enjoyed. The other ones I could care less about. I I don't like Dora. I kind of always haunted Dora's I, map. I to never just... watched Dora. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> so wait, are did. you saying that when I was little, you watched Dora? I think this podcast has gone completely off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow we're talking about I'm Dora sorry, the Explorer. People. No, actually, I didn't like Dora. Dora is not my favorite. But anyways, anyways, host with the most while you wrap it up with the least host with the most. (laughs) Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. That went a lot of places, (laughs) but anyway, for the main part, I hope you guys understood it and do something with it. Take initiative because you guys know how we do things on the Teenology podcast. We keep it for reals. For reals, <laughs> I totally forgot what I was supposed to say. We keep it no cap. We keep it no cap on the Teen Knowledge Podcast. So, if you missed any of the other episodes, go back and check them out, and follow us on Instagram. And if you have any questions and topics, send them in. We might or may we may or may not do an episode about it. And if we do, <laughs> that's encouraging. <laughs> if we do, we'll, we'll, we'll shout you out on Instagram. So, yeah. This is where teens make sense of the world that they're about to change, and this is the worst outro ever. Peace out. A-Town Down. What does that mean? (laughs) Okay, bye. bye.